Hello, it's Tuesday, March the 31st, 2020, and this is the next 100 seconds. All right, we have something like 750,000 COVID-19 infections on Earth. Probably somewhere around 10 to 20 percent of them will need to go to a hospital. Probably somewhere around 20 to 25 percent of those will end up needing to go to ICU and go on a ventilator, which means, and that's for a period of time, for not just a few hours, but for days, possibly weeks. And we're going to need tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of ventilators. And that number of ventilators, you can't find them anywhere in the world. We're building them as fast as we can. They have James Dyson building them. They have GM building them. Tesla's going to be building them. Everyone is building ventilators. That will work well in well-supplied, industrialized countries. But what are you talking about when you're talking about an emerging economy such as India or Indonesia? Where can they get those ventilators from? And it's really nice to see that MIT, my Alamata has come up with a project called the Emergency Ventilator or Event, which is a ventilator that can be built basically out of parts that can be found in almost every hospital everywhere in the world and can be deployed to provide ventilation to someone who desperately needs it because they have bilateral pneumonia caused by a COVID-19 infection. And this is the kind of resource we're going to need to create and then deploy at scale if we want to get people through to the other side of this and not have the 40 or 50 million deaths that you had with Spanish flu, but keep that down below a million. If we work together, if we share our resources, if we pool our designs, if we think about how to use things appropriately, we will get through this. And that's 100 seconds.